What's up, people of YouTube? I'm Karsatowski, and welcome back to the Karsatowski Games YouTube channel. So today, we have our second and final match of our top four for the Wii Sports Bowling Winter Spring Tournament. So in our last match, we had Dawson versus Dewey. Dewey shoots a 636, Dawson shoots a 736 with a 100 pin difference. So Dawson will be in our top two match for a championship round. In today's match, we've got Spank Your Dough versus Ernie. So let's get into our second match of the top four. The first bowler of our second match. He's got purple glasses, dreadlocks, and overall, I don't really know who or what he's supposed to be, but he is Spank Your Dough. So Spanker Doe has had a pretty good match in our tournament. He started off with a 594, so just under 600. And then our, in the top 8, he had a 715 series, which is right now our third highest series of the tournament. And he leaves a ringing 7 pin. Our second bowler of our second match... He's got tired looking eyes, spiky hair, and what appears to be no mouth, but the kid really can bowl. He is Ernie. So Ernie, I think throughout our first two rounds, probably has the highest average of any bowler that we have. So Ernie started out with a 689 series, which is 11 pins short of 700. And then Ernie really surprised everybody in our top eight by becoming the first and only bowler to shoot an 800 series. He had games of 237, 300, and 300. Yes, that's right. Ernie has shot back-to-back -back perfect games in the top eight. And that shot right there, I think, is probably 29 or 30 consecutive strikes since his last round up here. So I think Ernie threw the last four or five shots to shoot 230 in the first game, and then back-to-back -back perfect games would equate to 24 consecutive strikes. So Ernie basically threw 28 or 29 consecutive strikes to demolish his opponent, which was Accident. And Accident didn't even bowl that bad either. He just ran into a freight train in Ernie. Lou Ernie honestly didn't make the best shot there, almost leaving a deadly split. But this is a 10-pin match right now. So Ernie is the only bowler in this tournament to shoot a 300 game, and he's done it twice. So, I don't know if he'll shoot a 300 game in this round, but if he gets relatively close, then he's going to make it to our top two. And Spanker, though, has made three quality shots, but he's just left two seven pins to start off game number one. And they're both using that hard and straight method, both with pretty low rev rates, but they're definitely getting the job done, as you can see here. Great shot for Spanker Doe. Trips out the 7 pin that time. Looks like Spanker Doe's key is to get the ball a little bit more flush into the pocket. And Ernie, he pretty much just needs to keep it in the pocket because his pin carry is really good right now. And as he trips out the 7 pin as well. So, is long, so I think the bowler who trips out the 7 pin the most is ultimately going to win. Because I don't see any of these bowlers missing the pocket too, too bad. And we've almost seen that same split left by Ernie. And it said the 10 pin is tripped out. A lot of the quarter pins have been getting tripped out over the first nine frames. And as long as they can continue to do that, these bowlers both could potentially average 230 because none of them are really having a lot of troubles right now. Spank Your Doe has missed a few more times than Ernie has, but he hasn't left 
any bad splits or anything like that. But if he doesn't get it flush in the pocket, then he may be staring at a 5 pin compared with some other pin. Nice spare. And that's 4 spares for Spanker though within 6 frames. And Ernie has only missed once so far. Nice throw. Oh, Spanker Doe gets that ball way left. He's going to try to pick up this big four, which players who go... Oh, he almost converted that. That's about the closest you can get without converting it. Man, but a good try, though. And that's really the first time that we've seen a split like that. Going from someone going hard and straight. Obviously, we've seen combinations like the 5-10 and the 5-7-10, but I don't think we've seen the big four left by any player going nice this straight. Ernie is getting his ball into the pocket a little bit better this game than Spanker Doe, but it's still early on. These bowlers are separated by 45 pins through 8 frames and both working on a strike. Spanker Doe trips the 7 pin again. Oh, and we do see a Sour Apple leave. So this shot right here, especially with the power players of today, is a very uncommon leave. And I think this may only be the second time we've seen that left in this tournament. So I guess Ernie's going to try to pick this up. Oh, but he does pick up the 5-10 though. So that's going to push him back a little bit, but Spanker though has missed quite a few times in this game already. But Spanker though does is working on a turkey, so he's bouncing back in this game, so he's not going to be trailing by too much. Yes, yeah, Spanker though has five strikes and four spares and one open through ten shots. Let's see if he can finish this game off with seven strikes. And if he does, well, he doesn't in that shot, but... So, fairly close opening match, honestly. Nice, so, Spanker Doe will take a seat with a 203. Ernie just needs seven pins to win game number one. But this is, I think, going to be the only game, or really the only first opening game that we have had, I think since maybe the top eight. Nice, or, no, I think this is actually the first game that we're going to have since probably the top 16. That will be within less than 20 or 30 pins. Because if strikes here, which he does, this will be only 24 nice. pins. So this is still very much far from over. And this is within 14 pins right now. This is probably our only game that we've had that has not been within more than 30 or 40 pins so both these bowlers are still very much in this so spank your dough is trailing by 14 pins after game number one so this match is still very much in close proximity here and again this may be the only match that we've had ever since the top 16 that has been less than probably 30 or 40 pins. So this is still anybody's match to win. And they both start out with the stone 8. I don't think we've had two bowlers start out with a stone 8 before. Neither one of these bowlers have made the best shots. Like, both of them have left open frames and single pin spares the first game. But let's see if they can figure something out to where they can shoot 240 and 250 to make things a little bit interesting. Ernie gets that one a little bit left, but trips out the four pin. 
Uh, a lot of five pins have stood up. That may be the sixth five pin that I've seen standing in our first 15 frames. And, er and Ernie takes an early advantage. Spanker Doe goes a touch high and leaves a very weird leaf at, in a 4 8. Kind of weird pin carry going on between these two players. But Ernie finds a way to get himself a turkey through four frames. A Spanker Doe leaves yet another eight pin. Man, Spanker Doe was not getting very good pin carry at all through the second game. And he needs to get himself some strikes to keep it close. And Ernie's just cruising along with a four-bagger, or a hambone, however you want to call it. Spanker Doe is not getting help halfway through this game. He finally gets a good shot there. Oh, and Ernie almost leaves another split. Said it's just a 10 pin. Hmm, Spanker Doe leaves a 5 7. He's going for it, and he misses both of them. Ah. Uh, that was a pretty bad miss for Spanker Doe because that loses him in pin count. Huh. And Ernie pretty much leaves the same thing. So Ernie does not take advantage of Spanker Doe's open frame. Which, good thing for Spanker Doe, he's still in this game. But if he doesn't get his ball flush to the pocket, he's gonna be staring up from a hole. It looks like Ernie, for the most part, has managed to keep his ball a little bit more flush into the pocket. This game, though, both players have had interesting pin carry, especially Spanker, though. So they really both just need to get their bowling balls to get flush into the pocket a little bit better if they want to strike. And just like that. Hmm. Ernie gets another bad break. That's three consecutive shots where he's... Well, I mean, the first two shots that he's had, well, he's had two shots in a row where he's almost left a split, fortunate enough to just leave the 10. And then that shot right there in the ninth, honestly, he pro he should have struck on that shot. He got kind of got robbed there. Huh. And Spanker Doe leaves pretty much the same exact leave that Ernie did last game. And he, too, picks up the 5-10. That's going to be a 171 for game number two for Spanker Doe. And Ernie right now is in the 200s. Nice throw. So that, yeah, Spanker Doe got robbed on practically every other shot that he threw in this game. He could have easily probably shot 2 team, And then this game would practically be within 10 pins. But Ernie currently has a 55 pin lead over Spanker Doe for this game. So with that last game being a bust for Spanker Doe, he is now in a 69 pin hole going into our third and final game. So very similar to the match with Dewey against Dawson, I think in order for Spanker Doe to have any chance on winning, he's going to have to shoot the next 11 strikes, and he's going to have to hope that Ernie has a very similar game that he shot in the first two. Because even though Ernie did manage to get over 200, he hasn't been able to really string five and six strikes together like he has in his first two matches. So if Spanker Doe could for somehow get in like the 280s or 290s 
which that's a big ask, but if he does achieve that, and if Ernie only averages like probably 220, then Spanker Doe has a legitimate chance. But like we've seen for Dewey, he had a chance and he ended up missing out on it, so hopefully for Spanker Doe's sake that he doesn't make that same mistake and he leaves a pretty weak 10 pin. And he's going to need some help from Ernie. Nice spare. And it doesn't look like that Ernie's going to make it too easy for him, even though that he left a 4 7. Nice spare. So this is an 8 pin game right now. Spanker, though, needs to keep his ball right there. Because he can strike just about every time if he keeps it right in that spot. That's pretty much where Ernie needs to be as well. Mmm. Good break for Spanker, though. Nice shot from Ernie to get him double with his own. Nice. Turkey for Spank Your Dough. Oh, and Ernie leaves a 5-10. See if he could pick this one up. He's already done it earlier today. And he picks it up. Great pick up. Great shot. So that keeps him in this game. Spanker Doe's really going to have to strike out. He's done a good job so far, and let's see if he can keep it up. And he takes advantage of the opening by nice Ernie. Throw. A perfect shot. Ernie has pretty much been able to match Spanker Doe shot for shot really ever since about the fourth frame. Ooh, and he gets a light mixer tripping out seven pin. Honestly, this is pretty much going to be too little too late for Spanker Doe. Because even though that he has a six pack with three shots left. Ernie is still going to be within 20 pins if he strikes in the ninth frame. And he doesn't strike in the ninth frame, but he's still going to be within 30. Actually, within 35. So, Spanker Doe needs every hit in the 10th frame, and Ernie pretty much needs to get really low pin count. Oh my goodness sakes. And the one time where Spanker Doe gets the ball too far to the outside, he does, and he pays the price for it. And he does not pick up the 510 that time. So this will be another victory for Ernie. And he will be moving on to the top two in our last match of the tournament. And actually, they they both have a chance to tie in this game, too. And he will with the strike on this fill ball. Yeah, that was just a terrible break for Spanker, though. But Ernie did what he needed to do. He did... Ernie pretty much matched Spanker, though, shot for shot, you know. For the most part. There. But even though that Spanker Doe did win by two pins, you know, that second game really did cost him, and he will lose by right about 67 pins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our final total. So Spanker Doe had a three-game series of 610, and Ernie had a three-game series of 677. So Ernie comes out with a 67-pin victory over Spanker Doe, 
and now he is up against Dawson for our final match of the tournament. And Ernie didn't shoot a game higher than his lowest game in last week's top eight match, but that is just enough to get but that is enough to get past Spanker though. And now it is Dawson versus Ernie in our last match. So you guys want to stay tuned for next week for that match. So, if you guys are not subscribed to this YouTube channel and want to see that next match, be sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel so you'll never miss any of my videos. I'm Karsatowski, keep watching my content, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys!